It's giveaway time. Oh, look at the big box. Oh, y'all saw a teaser of what's in there. I, I changed it though. I made it something special. I made it something even more special. <gasps> look how full it is. Oh my God. Let's check it out. Let's check it out. Let's check it out over here. What is it? Here we go. Here we go. Oh, oh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, it's a quick set cylinder, yay! Good luck, y'all. Okay, guys, just kidding. Don't have a heart attack. This is the final giveaway. Final giveaway. And it is in a medium flavor box, and that is not all. I am doing this in stages because I'm going to have to pack and wrap all this up so what i'm just going to do is move it from one to the other so that i can start in this is the box that's going because it's better tape and uh so i'm just going to use this as a temporary receptacle and because there is so much in here i am going to um you know talk about this for a minute yeah because we need a little chatting with it's time for a jason chat jason chat because it's Oh, it stopped raining. Yay. Maybe I can go do that job. Let me wait just a bit. Anyway, uh, I feel like I need to stand on the tiptoes up here. Hold on. This giveaway is going to be, and I haven't thought of the phrase yet or the whatever I want y'all to comment, but um, I will later on in the video. So I am doing this giveaway. There is a lot of cylinders in here, and most of this is just stuff I can't use, like padlocks that I've taken off that I don't care about. They, a lot of this may have gone in scrap metal, um, but again, I've started saving it for the past year. I've started saving aside some of this stuff, and a lot of it's just stuff I really don't need. Some of it you may not need, which brings me to the point. A lot of this is uh, locksmith centric, which you'll see as I'm doing it, as I'm talking about it. So really, please don't ask, like try to do the giveaway just because you want free locks. Because this, while it is a lot of locks and it would be really cool to win, there are like, uh, like a Schlage A-series that I've exploded that I'm gonna want you to put back together and take a picture of and email it to me. So I'm trying to focus this more on um, the actual lock part of it. There are a few of these little things that I'm gonna do. And um, I can't uphold the requirement, but I would really like for you, if you win the box, for you to do the two or three little challenges in there. You don't have to do a video. If, you don't do, if you're not into videos, that's cool. I don't care about that, but I would like you to email us a picture of like, for instance, the Schlage A-Series lock. It's all in pieces and I am wanting you to put it back together and just take a picture and email it to me. It's easy. If you have a, a smartphone of any kind, you can do it. I don't even have to be a good picture. I just want to see it back together. Plus it's beneficial to you because it's a good door lock and you can use it if you want. Um, so anyway, so there's two or three little things in there that I really would like feedback on back, that feedback back. Um, doesn't have to be in video, just a picture of it showing you and again, you know, if you just want locks to pick and you have like no interest in taking them apart or changing keys because I've, in, I've included some keys in this, I've included some pins, I think. There's all a whole, whole big spectrum of locks. And like I said, while I know it would be really cool for you to win it, if you honestly don't think that you are going to put some time and effort into it, this is a time and effort box for sure. Um, so. Uh, and what I was stipulating and uh, kind of teased it in my last the giveaway video is hold on is okay so when I come up with the comment how it's gonna be and I, I'm not quite sure how we're gonna do this we'll work it out though so it's fair I've got a lot of new subscribers some of them are people who are not really into the locks part of it they're just into picking or whatever and I've got a lot of older subscribers who have commented on a lot of my videos have watched a good number of my videos and then I've got subscribers who have their own channels that do their own videos like unboxings so it would be cool to see a follow-up video on this if one of those people were to win that's always cool um, 
just so you can be like, yeah, yeah, cool. But um, so what it is is my oldest subscribers, the ones, and you know who you are, the ones that watch all my videos, right, when they come out and comment, we talk back and forth, you know, and, and you comment on a lot of them, and I, and I know that you have been a subscriber for a while. You're not just going back to my videos. So I know there's probably a handful of people that are going to hear this and then start going back on my videos and starting comments, which is cool. But I also know I have a pretty good memory when I can dredge it up as to what you, um, how long you've been subscribed and if you've been, you know, commenting progressively throughout the whole time. So anyway, those people, when you do your comment on this video, this giveaway video to try to win this box, if you're one of those people who has interacted with me and has been watching for a long time, you will automatically get two entries. So you comment. If we do it the same way, we're going to double your chances. So instead of writing your name down once, we'll write it down twice. Um, I'm actually thinking about doing it in a bracket level, whereas you'll get up to three chances. And I think that's kind of how I'm going to do it. What I'll do is there are a bracket of people who have both commented and maybe have their own channels a lot and interact with me that way. And uh, those people may get a third bonus chance. So some guys will have the one chance, which, you know, if you just started subscribing or you're just here for giveaways, please, again, if you're not into locks, please don't comment. Just, you know, let it, let that vote go to somebody who will get use out of this because there is a lot of collectible stuff. So please don't do it just to win something. Um, because like I said, I, I will want some feedback and I did put a lot of time. I am putting a lot of time and money and everything into all these giveaways. So I'd really like to see these go to somebody who is deserving of it, who will really take the time to go through it and enjoy it as uh, somebody who's working with locks or who has uh, limited access to locks would do. So with that said, now I'm going to start going through it. I'll come up with that phrase later, um, but we're going to go through it and y'all's jaw is probably going to drop because this box will be well over a thousand dollars worth of stuff, you know, if it was me. Here we go. Box of Schlage original keys. Are you 45? Yale Y2. Some Quickset style, some Schlage Yale head keys, and even some American keys for you guys who have American padlocks. So, keys. Uh, a cheapy padlock. A still a cheapy padlock, but a chateau, and it uses a Y6 style keyway, so a little bit different, different keyway. A cut shackle LSDA uh, Schlag keyway padlock that is in the pitch position. A uh, solid brass Schlag keyway mortise cylinder. Sergeant rim cylinder with flip, a Schlage 60, uh, B60 plug, a Yale uh, solid brass with no, no toppy thing there. Mortar cylinder, a old beat up uh, something, rust one mortar cylinder, a desk lock Corbin, Pretty unique key on this one. It's uh, I don't know what key that is. Original key though. A safe box, a uh, tourney thing. I don't have the, um, yeah, there we go. Sergeant and Greenleaf group two, whatever lock that is. Old fella, I don't know where that came from. A Trilogy cylinder. Uh, I don't know what keyway there. A Yale. That is an unusual Yale rim cylinder. And that's got a clip. I've gone over this clip. And that's got a little clip that you push out. You play with that if you've never seen one. 
a Schley cylinder, a Marx cylinder, a plug and core for a Schley, a LSDA desk lock core, a, a Yale original core, that's pretty valuable. Y1, goes in Yale Kia knob locks, brand new. That thing probably costs $30. There's a aftermarket, also another plug, no springs. There's a Schlage plug. There's a quick set deadbolt outer housing. There is a best, looks like F or G, uh, rim cylinder. Two, one without the core and one with the core. Some blank keys, or actually some cut keys. And the core with the spring and four of the five wafers. So you can try to put back load this one back together if you want, minus one wafer. They are kind of unique wafers. I did not, wait, wait, this goes here. I did not have any replacements for it. Okay, here's a nice one. Safe deposit box lock that I have labeled for parts. And while I would take these keys out to ship it, I'm not going to because they're jammed. So if you take this off, you'll be able to take it apart and figure out. But I think we have a guard key and a, uh, maybe you can get it working. I don't want to. Quick set Tylo knob front, a less faceplate stripped out to solid brass. SC cylinder, a uh, weird rust one type cylinder, it has this guard pin. I'm thinking this was like the hotel motel function. You can play with that one. There is a tubular lock that I have picked into the first position and jammed, so uh, I just had to unlock it. Took it off. Uh, there is a Corbin, another Corbin Cat 60, which is kind of a common keyway, and it's a full cabinet lock. There is a uh, filing cabinet lock. There is no checks, no pet shirt shoes required, office, employees only, entrance, restroom, no admittance, no soliciting, caution. That's actually one of my few red signs in private. I don't, I don't, I mean, I've, I've had stacks and stacks of those things. There's a double bit fork style ratcheting uh, wonder lock. Wonder lock. Oh my goodness. Again, one of these with the control key that I made for you with the original tag. And again, I will email the winner the information with the extra codes. I've got them on a chart. So I will both send you the picture of how to do it and your four extra codes for your series. There is a filing cabinet pen tumbler lock. Uh, there are some RO3C413A keys because I have a metric shit ton of those. There is a Yale mortise cylinder, old fella. There is a complete with a key sergeant RA keyway operating lorry deadbolt that while is not overly pretty is still completely functional and I'm sending you a lorry wrench as well. We're gonna speed this up. It's gonna be a eight hour long video. Uh, fairly brand new, looks like RU46 mortar cylinder, no cam. Uh, another one, looks like a, a CO87 maybe, no cam. Uh, there is a Marx cylinder. You can tell because of how short it is. Oh, and also because it says it. <laughs> a Yale G something cylinder. No cam. This is a, a Schlage D series rosette removal thing to poke and remove the rosette. There is a Schlage cylinder out of a B60 deadbolt. There is a Sargent, kind of a worn out cylinder that is used. These things are a pain to follow out. You had to have the follower with the slit in it. Uh, there's that pack of pins that I was telling you about. Mostly pins, not many springs, but there's a handful of little springs in there. 
Uh, there is a fairly nice brand new Schlag cylinder. I think this one was made. Uh, it might be aftermarket, but it is very, should be very tight tolerances in there. Here's a few security plates if you have a deadbolt on your door or some screws if you're a locksmith. Use them, install them. Uh, there are some just plain old regular uh, Schlage style screws with a dual thread. There is a little desk or a uh, snap with the plate. When you close like a cabinet door, you drill a hole, you mount this in, and it snaps, kind of snaps it in. Here is a neat little catch. You mount this on like the face of, if you have a double cabinet, you mount it on one side and the other and the little bar goes over and it like, it's a little catch. We sell these on eBay. And getting down to the bottom of what this is now, uh, here is a little national lock. It uses the D D8890 key, which is uh, more money out of my pocket, so I'm not gonna send one, but it is very, very simple. You just, I mean, there's nothing to this. Uh, so it's kind of pointless. And I've got a bunch of those. There's another sergeant cylinder. Don't know what keyway. There's a Yale rim. That key does not fit that. But you can see it's held in place with a roll pin. This is missing its cap. But it does have a clip. So you can figure that out. All right, getting down to the bottom of this first one. All right, so what is in this box? And this is what I was going to talk about there. Have fun, rubber gloves advised. Now, this is a complete Schlage A-Series lock that looks just like this. And what happened is I gave away some boxes last year and uh, two of them were large boxes. And uh, two of them were uh, I had three of these locks and what I did was I completely stripped it down even to the core I think and I bagged it all up and put it in here so this is this with the latch with the screw pack I want a picture whoever wins this this is pretty much a requirement I'm gonna be mad at you and curse you with the the luck of not being able to pick locks if you win this and don't do this I want to see this made back into this via a picture so put that bad boy back together i have plenty of videos on schlag a series go back over some of my videos find the ones where i take apart a series locks and i've got several of them i've got time trials and because i have so many of these locks i'll start doing a time trial thing but i've got plenty 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 of videos on how to put it back together and take it apart so that is the one pretty much the one one requirement of this whole process and i am going to pause it there because we are at the bottom of the box but you know what even after i get this filled even after i'm still oh that's like that's like 20 pounds right there we still still have more to put in there so i will be back later i do have to go work because it has stopped raining so i will see y'all back soon Look at all that room left in that box. Gosh, so much room left. We can make this. We can we can do something with this, right? Yeah, I think so. Both of these are brand new. One has been taken apart for parts. This one is pristine, except for the cylinder retainer screw. I'm going to take this and put in this, or I'm going to take parts from here and put in here. And this is going in the giveaway. I say this with the voice like this because this is a very expensive lock. Google Bald 163 20 mortise lock. Uh, however, I've got a bunch of them, so um, I'm going to get you one. But guess what? You get to put this back together, too. <laughs> there is 
one of these float uh there might be two of these floating around out there uh lock butcher and then i think it was night owl and maybe somebody else has done the challenge videos of trying to get it back together in 10 minutes i'm not challenging you to that however i'm going to give you an awesome puzzle to play with so again you can go back on some of my videos or one of their videos and have fun speed this sucker up Okay. Locked. Unlocked. And it should. Mm -hmm. I can use this. Should be free on the inside when it's locked on the outside. And it is not. Oh, yeah, it is. Looks like there's a little catch going on. little catch going on you're gonna have to sort that out i may not have put it back together right but i'm gonna send it just like this. Have fun. This may fit without the box. Microbow for a healthier work environment. Yeah, we can make that fit. Still room in the box. Plenty of room. I took that little barrel lock out because I found a whole one that I really don't need. It's pretty tarnished on the key. But it even has the little face plate that is, again, kind of scuffed up. So I really can't use it. A, a master that came off of a car. You could uh, make a hitch hand file if you have an M1 key. I do not have any of those to spare. A uh, Vista wall cylinder. A, oddly enough, a Corbin Rust one cylinder that has what appears to be a Eagle type key. This is a very weird head for a are you 46 looks like an esp head which i guess that's what it is oh a cam lock again i've got dozens of those some assorted mounting plates for rim cylinders uh arrow ar oh ar something or other six pin i think i may have i may have cut this key for something else i don't know but not many people use arrow anymore. Oh, there's our welch. Look at this. I gave you a good one. I've got a metric shit ton of welches. 
So this one you get two original keys. This cylinder was finished black, but it's kind of been knocked around a little bit. Interesting little thing for your collection. That's a Y1 keyway. One of those, what I call crappy zinc cylinders. Schleg by Dexter, just a deadbolt interior or deadbolt cylinder. Uh, a couple of spacer rings, they are dirty or dinged up. A picked SC1 cylinder, another zinc cylinder. Spacer ring, rim plate. I uh, had a few more keys that I had grabbed out, so I'm just going to toss these in on top. A couple of, I looked this up one time, I've got like a whole bag of these propulsive giveaway deals and this is like some kind of stomach gas medicine so there you go a couple of keychains and a hook chain a door chain this should only be used to show a customer and say do not use this never use this these are not made for nowadays don't open your door chains are not kosher anymore or you can chain whatever else you want up. Okay, I think we're still gonna have room though. Mmm. So lastly, <laughs> I don't can't remember putting one of these in there. This goes in a roll down gate that you would see like on storage rooms. It's designed to go in the little oval cutout and block it. A few of you guys have gotten these. And these are all old stuff, so you put it in, turn the key, and let you put it in, and then when you un when you take it to that position, it basically locks it between here and here. And a Corbin Rust one rim cylinder of the looks like 77 variety. And it is loaded up something special so i tried to get the clip to work on it but i couldn't get the clip to work on it for some reason i don't know what's going on there but again it's useless to me now but it has got some pretty pretty neat stuff in there and we're gonna cap it all off with look how full that box is ah look how full that box is that's crazy crazy Z. We are going to top it off with an issue of TNL that talks about Quickset Master Key Systems, which I have done about a gazillion and a half of. So I don't really need it. Look at that. Perfect. 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 So, I am going to get this taped up. I had a little bit of room right there. But, honestly, I think y'all are good. I think this is almost too much stuff for one person. <laughs> oh, yeah. That is good. I bet that weighs... I bet that weighs 50 pounds. Alright, guys. Well, good luck with that. And uh, I will come up with the saying here in a minute. It just occurred to me that out of all that, I did not include a Baldwin cylinder. You have to have this Baldwin cam here to work in the mortise lock. And I uh, had sent some Baldwin keys, but I did not send a freaking Baldwin cylinder. And then I was like, damn. The dude, whoever gets it may not have doorknobs. <clears throat> Yeah, be careful with this. I'm sending you with the doorknob and the split spindle so that you can attach it and check your knob. I, however, only have bunches of the small brass rosettes. So we're gonna have to roll with a two-tone bling here. Ooh. I mean, technically, you're probably not ever gonna install that. If you do install the mortise lock, I would love to see that so the spindle the two rosettes the two knobs 
the mounting plates, the screws for the knobs to hold onto the spindle, the cylinder, short of the cylinder collar, 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 uh, you've got a complete mortise lock. That's what they look like, by the way. You can't have the little knobs, but I've got a ton of these and they're heavy. So that's gonna piss off our USPS lady even more. <laughs> Okay, y'all, so I've got all that boxed up. It actually fit, crazily enough, the uh, USPS lady's gonna have a heart attack. So I've been kind of racking my brain on what I want y'all to comment about. And uh, the last one kind of screwed me up because that was like my feedback one. I was kind of getting feedback from everybody. Um, so that helped. And I don't want to do something where everybody will just copy somebody else's answer. So what I want you to do is comment on let's do a scenario here you get a phone call from somebody that says hey we've got a a thousand person event hall and we need you to come speak for five minutes so aside from the heart attack that you're going to have over actually public speaking to a thousand people because that is tough um, i want you to tell me what your topic is what you're going to speak about why you're going to speak about it or kind of a brief synopsis of what you're going to talk about and why it's important to you to broadcast that message out to the thousand people. So it doesn't have to be about locks. It doesn't have to be about, it can be about whatever. It can be about your hobby that you told me about, you know, last time. Fishing, you can talk about, you know, what kind of reels you use. Uh, just some details. Give me a few details. I don't want a one word answer. I don't want a one sentence answer. I don't want somebody to be like, I'm going to talk about dogs. I want you to explain why. Why are you going to talk about dogs? I'll probably do my own version of that. So like my comment, what I'm going to post in the comments so you'll get an idea will be, um, so I'm going to talk about locks because um, it is important to me. Uh, I'm going to talk about maybe home security. So I'll talk about home security. It's important for me for people to feel safe in their own home. So basically what I'd go over would be, you know, having good locks, having a, a, a stable door jam and, and having heavy screws to prevent forced entry, having, uh, doing little tips like, you know, not leaving your keys right by the door, or making sure your doors are locked. And uh, so yeah, you know, comment, give me two or three good sentences, explain why you're gonna talk about fishing or your dogs or butterflies or whatever you wanna talk about. Um, I, I want a good, honest answer you know, just just kind of giving me uh, just a little bit of detail maybe in your own life. You know, if you're into, like I said, fishing, uh, you want to tell me why it's important for you to fish, why you feel it's an important thing, why, you know, what, give me, uh, give me a hint or something like, you know, you're going to talk about why, uh, the, what types of fish you go fish and what types of baits you use and do you buy the most expensive rods and rails you know give me give me give, give me give me give us some stuff give us some stuff that'll give us some good reading that'll give everybody some good reading get to everybody get to know each other some better some better that made no sense this video has gone way longer than it's supposed to that box is pretty valuable and it's very heavy so uh give me a good comment uh again you uh the you'll have my older subscribers who comment a lot on everything, non-giveaway stuff, will be able to uh, get extra bonus points. Um, if you give me a really good paragraph, even if you're a fairly new subscriber, I may throw you in for a second, you know, drawing name entry. Um, so give me, give me some good, give me some good info. I want to, I want to hear what y'all will talk about to a thousand people after you had the heart attack. And uh, again, good luck to everybody. That's going to be drawn on March 1st because 20th, um, I need the 1,000 by the 20th, but I need a buffer. So I need over a 1,000. I need like a 1,020 would be good because I don't want somebody to unsubscribe right on the 20th and me lose it just because I'm right at a 1,000. So of course, I'll hopefully be doing the 1,000 give or the 1,000 thing. Um, I, one other thing, international subscribers, after this is all said and done, I know I've left you international guys out. We can't do this box. It absolutely has to say continental or US because that box will go for $14 in the US and it would probably cost $150 to go anywhere else because it weighs about 75 pounds. So um, after all this is said and done, after March 1st, you international guys, I'm gonna do like a small package. I'm also gonna 
do a, a video shout out to some of you guys who have done videos to help me get subscribers. I really appreciate you guys. You know who you are. I'll, I'm going to get to that uh, in a separate video. But go ahead, give me your comments. Let me know what you would talk about to a thousand people, why it's important to you. And just kind of give me a brief, you know, a little couple of sentences on why you would talk about that. So good luck to everybody. March 1st, I guess at noon, I don't even know what day March 1st lands on, but uh, March 1st at noon, we'll be drawing for that. And, um, hmm. And uh, come on, let's get to a thousand, baby. So thanks for watching, guys. Good luck. Peace. I didn't mean to call y'all baby. I just, I just came out. Peace. Have a good one. Good luck. Oh.